Oh, back from holiday. Just had a little nap because I'm absolutely shattered, but had an amazing time with the GF. Uh, GF meaning girlfriend, not gluten free. Uh, although, ironically, she is actually gluten free, um, meaning she is intolerant to gluten. Not that she doesn't contain gluten, because that would be weird. Anyway, um, heading to the gym now, no rest for the wicked. Got SSB, got a top triple pause at 210. Really not feeling it, but uh, it's going to be one of those sessions where I'm just going to get in, get out, and shake it all about. I do the hokey cokey and I turn around. I've lost my fucking mind. Let's go. training so normally I spread my training out throughout the week and I have at least a day's rest in between sessions but I've had to condense it down to two days so my Monday and Wednesday session to Monday and Tuesday uh, because it's Lois's birthday tomorrow to my girlfriend and we're going out for a nice meal so obviously that takes priority so I've had to condense my uh, training sessions down to Monday and Tuesday today uh, and seeing as I've just been doing a lot of walking and everything and just generally still quite tired and carrying a bit of fatigue from holiday um, it's been tough getting into the gym, just really haven't been motivated. It doesn't help that yesterday when I actually managed to get the 210 triple on the SSB pause, I did uh, finish that session with a bit of a migraine uh, and obviously that still continued a little bit today. So doing um, five second concentrics on the deadlift is literally the worst thing that I could be doing with a headache, but uh, we got it done. Um, also managed to get uh, up to four reds a side on the sumo, so pulling 220 kilos, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, again, feeling very fatigued, so it didn't feel that good, but um, yeah, I realized that, obviously I haven't had much rest between yesterday's training session and my holiday. So it does mean now that I have got a couple of days rest, obviously tomorrow going out for a nice meal, so that'd be good for recovery. I've got a big old steak to have tonight, which I've got today. So this is a ribeye, I think it's a 12 ounce ribeye, so looking forward to digging into that. Uh, and then Thursday, another rest day, and then Friday 
it is the big session of the week. So I've got 250 kilos to do on the SSB, uh, which is a little bit mental. I'm a little bit terrified at the prospect of having that on my back and trying to squat that. Uh, my best ever SSB is 240. My best ever back squat is 260. So somewhere in the middle, I'm hoping that it will be okay. But yeah, just need to make sure that I'm really focused on recovery for the next couple of days. I'm kind of glad that I've got this part of the training week out of the way, so Monday and Tuesday done, and I can just focus on um, Friday session. Um, I have got like other stresses as well at the moment, like I've got an exam, I've got two exams next week, so there's a little bit of like that mental fatigue knowing that I have to revise for that as well. But I'm just gonna try and focus on what I can do, and on Friday, whatever will be, will be. Right, let's get this juicy steak on the go. So a quick word of advice for anyone that wants to make a perfect steak is you have to rest it for as long as you cook it to allow all of the juices inside of the steak to reabsorb. If you just cut into it, all of those juices will just leak out all over this board. So rest it for about 10 minutes or so, let all the juices reabsorb and then you'll have a nice juicy tender steak. Thank me later. And there you have a beautiful medium rare steak. Oh!
absolutely buzzing with that session. Um, I've been thinking about that squat for the last six weeks and I've been trying to visualize it ever since I got my program, my six week block. I looked right at the very last session of the block because that's normally when I have a heavy-ish uh, single on something and I saw that 250 SSB. So I've been worrying about it, I suppose, for the last six weeks and trying to sort of get into the mindset of what it would be like to have 250 kilos on my back with the SSB. So I'm so glad to kind of get it out of the way now. Um, and it actually moved so much better than I anticipated, especially because when I actually got into the gym, I kind of had a bit of a defeatist uh, mentality. I was feeling a bit tired, a bit achy, the warm ups were not feeling good, but I just want to say a massive thank you to Marcus for keeping me focused, hyping me up, uh, especially with those sort of heavier weights because uh, he didn't have to do that because he finished his training session but he stayed on um, so I'm so grateful for that for sort of keeping me focused. Um, his smelling salts definitely helped as well, don't normally use smelling salts but uh, he sort of suggested that I use those and they did help uh, to sort of clear my mind and get me focused so he was a massive help today. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to him. So after my squat session, I got delivered some new drip. So I ordered this from Valor and I got it delivered to Trojan because I do believe the owner actually trains at Trojan. Uh, it's a local business uh, that sells gym wear as well as casual wear. So I took advantage of getting this asphalt tee as well, which I'll be trying on later. Uh, and Marcus just happens to be sponsored by them as well because he's an absolute machine. So I took advantage of using his discount code and you can too if you want to. So I'll put a link down to the website uh, and the discount code for Marcus which is HALES10 to save yourself 10%. Um, I'm all for supporting local businesses and up and coming businesses. So if you want to do that as well and support this new company then click the link down below and get yourself some new gym gear. Right, I'm absolutely starving, so I've picked myself up another ribeye steak. This one is 380 grams, so I think that's actually over 12 ounces this time, but I haven't actually eaten anything today because I'm not very good at training in the morning when I've eaten, and I don't really generally eat breakfast anyway, so I'm absolutely starving. Let's get this on the grill. God, look at that. Bit more on the, uh, the medium side today, but still absolutely delicious. Welcome to Saturday, a much needed rest day after what's been a pretty tough week of training. Uh, obviously starting on Monday, uh, some very tired SSBs following my holiday and then yesterday some very heavy SSBs with a PB. So body's feeling a little bit battered, however I am just about to head out for a bottomless brunch with some work pals but obviously I'm not going to be drinking, I think everybody else is going to be drinking but I'm still doing my six months of being alcohol free. Um, I say six months, I'm probably actually going to extend it to August because that's when my competition is. I don't really feel like there's much point uh, starting to drink in June just to then sort of hamper my recovery going into the competition. So I think I am going to extend that to August. But yeah, really looking forward to that. Much needed uh, rest day today and just chilling out and just letting my hair down. Uh, and this is the new uh, Valor t-shirt that I was talking about yesterday as well. This is the casual uh, asphalt fit as well. So I'm going to be wearing that out. Uh, so yeah, going to pretty much wrap up the video here, guys. I'm looking forward to receiving my next uh, block of training in the next couple of days for next week. Uh, and I think that's actually going to be my next video. I'm going to go through my program with Matt's blessing, obviously, because... I can't just give out all of his programming for free because obviously I pay for that. Um, but with his blessing, I'm going to sort of go through it sort of session by session and sort of pinpoint some of the highlight sessions for the next six weeks uh, and just have a look at how um, that's going to be structured really. So I think that'd be quite interesting to go over that. So that'll be the next video, obviously, as long as Matt is okay with me like sharing some of that program. Uh, but as for this one, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like as always if you have. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.